Hello and welcome to Rumble's BIM blog video blog, this time in English, due to our foreign friends listening and watching. Today I'm going to show you a, a small BIM program called Simple BIM from Finnish company that it's called Data Cubist. The Simple BIM program uh, is helpful for me working with IFC files to and from Revit because it enables me to open IFC files and peel away things and edit properties. What I basically do with it is that I uh, use it for uh, minimizing IFC files before I import them to Revit. So let's see, I have some uh, architectural IFC files here from uh, Archicad from Graphisoft this uh, D3 model, I'm going to import this to uh, to Revit, uh, but before I do so, I open it in Simple BIM and look at it. So I start by opening the Simple BIM program, I have the ability to choose whether I want to edit IFC files or some other stuff like energy analysis, etc. I don't ever use this, but only the editor uh, mode. So I choose editor, um, I open my uh, my IFC file. Oh, wrong folder. Arch D3. Open. This uh, way to uh, minimize the information that I want to import to Revit enables me to not only import faster to Revit but with less errors and also reduce the file size of imported IFC files uh, so I can manage them more easily inside Revit. It also tends to uh, minimize the file size of the IFC files, uh, especially the IFC files generated by Archicad by huge amounts. We're going to look at this as soon as we're finished importing. the This import IFC file import procedure in Simple BIM has some issues with large IFC files, particularly HVAC IFC files with a lot of bends and etc. Um, but architectural IFC files from ArchCAD uh, usually go very well in, into Simple BIM. So this is the problem, program. One of the reasons why I like this program extremely much is that it has a very intuitive graphical interface. So I'm now I'm now in some kind of model trimmer mode here. I'm uh, I'm gonna I, I can select simple objects inside the architectural IFC files, and then I just drag and drop them to either included objects or excluded objects. And from quick select mode here down at the bottom here, I can choose what kind of objects I want to choose. So what I most often do is that I I choose object class. I go for walls. I include my walls or the architect architect's walls. I exclude the spaces. This is if I'm the only one using this IFC file uh, after import. I often ex exclude the windows. I include the slabs. I exclude the railings. I include the columns. I include the doors to see the size of the doors. I obviously exclude the furniture, I exclude the covering, that is ceiling in most cases. I um, include the stairs, I exclude the curtain walls, and not defined objects are usually nothing I'm interested in, so I exclude them. And when I've excluded all object classes, I press OK, I have my new model, and I press export excluded. I just choose the default name, save. Finished. Arc D3 edited from 18 to 5 megabytes. Then in Revit, open the IFC file with my default settings. D3 edited. 
open. Now, I still haven't been able to do this without getting some kind of warning from Revit, but I think as you go on and do import several times in Revit, you will see and notice that not all the errors and warnings are that serious. Also, if you get like 650 errors and warnings, the chances are that they're most often warnings than errors, and warnings you can like sort of ignore. The amount of time that these IFC files uh, do to uh, import into Rabbit uh, still uh, is a bit of a pain. But uh, hopefully it will be better. The home page of this company, Datacubist, you can find them on www.datacubist.com. Some uh, funny animations here and contact support and, you, and they're very eager to get in touch with new new customers. And you'll also be able to try the software before you buy it. Okay, let's see. 11 warnings. That's okay. And my IFC file is finished and ready to be used. Okay, and now I usually store the or save the IFC file as a Revit file and link it into my Revit structure project to start using um, copy monitor and etc. Snapping to walls etc. Um, I've gotten used to using the uh, Archicad improve IFC exchange as well, which will include grids and uh, do structural modifications to your floor, etc. After import, uh, it's a command you just run after you've imported IFC file from Archicad. But um, this command uh, often brings me stuff that I don't want. Also, not only grids and structural floor modifications, but also a lot of text and lines. Oh, no grids. So this is uh, perhaps uh, because I. I save the I, the Revit file before running the command or be, or because I run the pro, run the model through simple bin on my last project I didn't use the this add-in that much because I just got my grids from a dvg file okay well um and thank you